What if I told you that the most expensive fighter jet in history is already being hunted by radars that cost a fraction of its price? Picture this, an F-22 Raptor, America's crown jewel of aviation technology, worth $412 million, slicing through enemy airspace completely undetected. Its radar cross-section, the size of a steel marble. To enemy radars, it's practically invisible. But here's the thing that keeps Pentagon officials awake at night. By the end of this video, I'm going to reveal the simple physics principle that could render every stealth fighter on Earth completely useless. And the scariest part? Our enemies already know about it. For decades, we've been told that stealth technology represents the ultimate evolution in aerial warfare. The F-22 Raptor achieves a frontal radar cross-section of just 0.0001 square meters. To put that in perspective, a conventional fighter like an older F-15 has an RCS of 10 to 15 square meters. That means the F-22 is literally 100,000 times harder to detect on radar. The F-35 Lightning II takes this even further. Its stealth signature is described as smaller than a metal guard golf ball. But it's not just about radar anymore. Modern stealth encompasses infrared suppression, acoustic dampening, and even visual camouflage across multiple spectrums simultaneously. These aircraft can supercruise, sustain supersonic flight without afterburners. The F-22 cruises at Mach 1.5 while remaining virtually undetectable. Its F-119 engines produce over 35,000 pounds of thrust each, giving it a thrust-to-weight ratio exceeding 1 to 1. That means it can literally climb vertically like a rocket. But here's where things get terrifying. While America invested trillions in perfecting stealth, our adversaries were playing an entirely different game. They weren't trying to build better stealth fighters, they were building better ways to find ours. Rhetorical question, what happens when the hunter becomes the hunted? Russia's Nebo-M radar system, China's JY-27A, India's Rohini radars. These aren't your grandfather's radar systems. They operate on frequencies that completely bypass traditional stealth technology. Here's the dirty little secret the defense contractors don't want you to know. Stealth fighters are optimized for X-band frequencies. That's 8 to 12 gigahertz. But these new detection systems operate in the VHF and UHF bands. 30 megahertz to 3 gigahertz. And there's a fundamental physics principle called Rayleigh scattering that's about to turn the entire stealth paradigm upside down. I'll explain exactly how in just a moment, but it gets worse. Modern infrared search and track systems can detect stealth aircraft through heat signatures from engines and aerodynamic heating. The Su-35's IRST system can spot an F-22 from 50 to 150 kilometers away, completely bypassing its radar stealth. And then there are the passive radar networks, systems that use civilian Million FM radio towers and cellular networks to create invisible detection webs. These multi-static radar configurations can track stealth aircraft by exploiting reflections from multiple angles simultaneously. The very technology that was supposed to make our fighters invisible is making them sitting ducks. Let's talk about what this stealth obsession is really costing us. The F-22 program, $67 billion for 187 aircraft. That's $412 million per fighter. The F-35 program has ballooned to over $1.7 trillion over its lifetime. But here's the kicker. These stealth fighters spend more time in the hangar than in the air. The F-22 achieves mission-capable rates of just 62 to 70 percent when stealth coating maintenance is required. Compare that to upgraded fourth generation fighters like the F-15X, which maintain availability rates exceeding 80 percent. What good is an invisible fighter if it's invisible because it's stuck on the ground? The F-22 costs $13,048 per flight hour to operate. The F-15X $18,803. But here's what really matters. That F-15X can carry 12 AM-120D missiles externally with a total payload capacity of 29,500 pounds. The stealth-optimized F-22? Just 6 AM-120 and 2 AM-9 internally. We've traded firepower for invisibility, but what happens when that invisibility fails? Now, let me reveal something that's going to change how you think about the future of air combat forever. 
The next generation of warfare isn't just about stealth versus detection. It's about artificial intelligence, autonomous systems, and human-machine teaming that will make traditional dogfighting obsolete. The USAF's X-62A program has already demonstrated AI-controlled fighter aircraft successfully engaging human pilots in dogfights. These systems process sensor data and execute maneuvers in microseconds, faster than human reaction times by orders of magnitude. But here's where it gets really interesting. Loyal wingman programs. Platforms like the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat can operate autonomously alongside manned fighters, providing reconnaissance, strike, and defensive capabilities without risking human pilots. What happens when your enemy can field 10 AI-controlled fighters for every one of your manned aircraft? China is already integrating AI with their J-20S two-seat variant for drone control. Swarm operations could coordinate hundreds of unmanned platforms and attacks that would overwhelm any defense system currently deployed. Remember that physics principle I mentioned earlier? Here's the Rayleigh scattering effect that's about to revolutionize air defense. When radar waves encounter objects smaller than their wavelength, they scatter in all directions. Traditional stealth shaping, all those angular surfaces designed to deflect X-band radar, becomes completely ineffective against longer wavelengths. Low frequency radars exploit this principle. A stealth fighter that's invisible to an X-band radar at 10 gigahertz becomes clearly visible to a VHF radar at 300 megahertz. The aircraft is literally too big to hide from these longer wavelengths. But there's an even more sophisticated threat emerging that could make all current stealth technology obsolete overnight. Intelligent reflecting surface-aided electromagnetic stealth systems. These are adaptive systems that can dynamically adjust radar signatures in real time, achieving radar cross-section reductions of 20 decibels with adaptive thermal management that can modulate temperatures by 70 degrees Celsius. Imagine a radar system that can literally reshape its detection pattern to hunt specific aircraft signatures. That's not science fiction, that's happening right now. So where does this leave us? The sixth generation fighter programs, the UK-Italy-Japan Global Combat Air Program, the Franco-German-Spanish Future Combat Air System, and America's Next Generation Air Dominance Program are already pivoting away from traditional stealth. These programs prioritize computing power, sensor fusion, and network integration over raw performance metrics. They're designed around the concept of system of systems, manned fighters working seamlessly with unmanned carriers and combat cloud networks. Networks. The GCAT program targets 2035 service entry with demonstrators flying by 2027. But here's what's really revolutionary. Advanced power generation systems designed to support directed energy weapons, comprehensive electronic warfare suites, and sensor arrays that would make current AESA radars look primitive. What does all this mean for global power balance? Regional power projection is being redefined. In the Pacific theater, where bases are under constant threat, long-range capabilities and aerial refueling become more critical than stealth. The F-15EX can already carry hypersonic missiles up to 22 feet long and 7,000 pounds in weight, capabilities that internal base stealth fighters simply cannot match. Alliance interoperability becomes crucial. NATO standards enable coalition operations, but classification concerns limit capability sharing even among close allies. The nation that can successfully integrate human-machine teams in networked environments while managing costs and risks will dominate future air combats. Here's the uncomfortable truth. The stealth revolution is already over. The future belongs to adaptive, networked systems that combine multiple detection methods and engagement capabilities. Modern air defense integrates radar, infrared, electronic warfare, and AI-powered threat analysis into seamless defensive networks. Success requires abandoning the single solution mentality. Instead of investing everything in one super expensive stealth platform, the winning strategy combines high capacity conventional fighters for missile truck roles, stealth platforms for penetrating missions, autonomous loyal wingmen for force multiplication, artificial intelligence powered sensor fusion and decision support, adaptive electronic warfare capabilities, distributed network operations. The electromagnetic spectrum is becoming increasingly contested. Future air combat will feature rapid decision-making cycles where information superiority and AI-assisted targeting provide decisive advantages. The nations that successfully balance human judgment with machine speed and precision while maintaining ethical oversight will control the skies of the future. And here's something that will blow your mind. The technology that will ultimately dominate air combat might not even require traditional aircraft at all. But that's a story for another video, the age of stealth 
female supremacy is ending. The age of intelligent, networked warfare has already begun. The question isn't whether your fighter can avoid detection, it's whether your entire combat system can adapt, learn, and evolve faster than your enemies. What do you think? Are stealth fighters already obsolete or is there still a role for invisible aircraft in future warfare? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into military technology that's reshaping our world. The next war won't be won by the most expensive fighters, it'll be won by the smartest systems and that changes everything.